don't know who's going to drop in on this race. Alabama's taking over. Roll Tide. Taking tide. over. Hey, man, I'm happy to be here, man. Boss, man, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad to see you, man. Good to see I'm you. I'm glad too, to see you, Steve Brown. Uh, <laughs> where can they reach you on social media? Uh, man, you be putting some, you be putting some funny shit, boy. Hey, man, appreciate that it. shit where you be shooting them people with that. Oh, uh, the Cerebral BB. Chronicles. <laughs> Cerebral Chronicles, yeah. And people be falling and all kind of shit. Right, right. Like, like I watch that shit like a like a child, man. Like I'm watching car. I've been watching shit over and over. What's crazy? Like to see him and stuff. I never knew that he was from Alabama. And you I still thought, on that man? I just never knew that, dog. I just never knew it. What, you think everybody from Alabama look, look like you? It's just good. It, you proud when you see people from the state because we don't get too many celebrities out there like that that we can just doing it the right way that you can be proud of. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You overstepping now. I don't consider myself <laughs> no celebrity. I'm just a I'm just a working comedian, and that's good enough for me, man. You know, when you start saying this celebrity shit, you get caught up in diddy shit. Nah, <laughs> so, so no, nah, I'm not trying okay. to do that. As a matter of fact, right. but I'm not, going, I'm not going to go in on diddy at all like everybody else because diddy gave me an opportunity. He put me on my second major TV show, Bad Boys of Comedy, yeah. but I wasn't invited to the after party. They wouldn't let me in because they say, <laughs> that's my <laughs> <laughs> been fat enough. But look, that's what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> say. yeah, they had me out there standing like Shannon Sharp. But look, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Kelly, say, keep your head up there. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, man, this, I got to say this. If I did go to the party. Yeah. And I was like that, all freaky deaky, and you know, yeah. and if I was perverted, you know. Yeah. If I was, if I partake and stuff like that, yeah, I understand. The last person at that party I would want to run up in is T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> which one of you nasty niggas is running up in the bishop? I don't understand. Who got the bishop bent over? Bishop is 173 years oh, old, and you got his man. legs on your shoulders. Who is rump roasting the bishop? I don't understand that. I, I, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! I'm in the light. I'm in the light. You know, and they call him a power bottom. Now, I don't know what that is, but I can imagine he was dropping that ass like it was hot and throwing that ass in the press right. circle. Right. Look, uh, oh my God! I'm not. It's too much now. going on here for weight ball now. I'm too much for weight. Much. Much. Oh, no, you we, better we, not we, leave. Now no, we talking. <laughs> The allegations oh coming out the wall, boy. No, they allegations. I, I, I mean, I hate now. to. Uh, uh, he offered me a tour one time. <laughs> a tour of the house. A tour of the house. A tour. P did. Okay. A tour of his house. I want to make sure because he went from. St- but we ain't fall out about nothing <laughs> to his house. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't fall out about nothing about like that. He wanted me to. He said, oh, "We got. Want you DC do this tour? Send me a tape. Send you a tape, nigga." <laughs> so you know, motherfucking I mean, that's how it went. He wanted to watch you. Oh, I thought you said, uh, uh, you know, the bishop sent, wanted you to have two of his. No, no, I was trying to get it clear. I to ask you, you ever been no, swallowed? No, Pete didn't want me to send tape. And I said, DC ain't sending you. Send a tape so that you can tour his house? Hell no, that's a joke, JJ. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she was into it too. Hey, what, do mean, story, what, do what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? He was, he was, was, he was, he was fixing to do a comedy tour. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Right. And you, wanted me you. on the tour. Mm-hmm. And said, send him a tape. And they called me. And y'all called me. Mm-hmm. And he gonna tell me, send you a tape. Yeah. But you so win. me with my <laughs> egotistical self said, say, right. man, stick that request up your ass. And your ass, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Wow. But you know what? That's a good suggestion. <laughs> but you know, the last season of Comic View, apparently, who was booking it, they probably didn't know the comics because they, I remember they, I had the same story. They called me, I think it was the last season. I don't, I don't know, I don't remember who hosted it, but they said, uh, yeah, we want you on the show, send us a tape. I'm like, wait a minute. I've been on Comic View like eight times. Why would y'all? Yeah. That's that same situation. Why, why, why what y'all need to take? Why would you ask these people that are, to That's me, what I'm you know? saying. Mm-hmm. One yeah. of the greats to send me a tape. I don't know about all that. Well, I, you are one of the greats. I've been out You are one of the greats. Definitely, definitely. He's one of the greats. He's so humble. I'm trying to be one of the greats, but yeah, he's one of the greats. He is so humble. But why would you ask one of the greats to send a tape? I think, Steve, I think you were one of the last couple of uh, three guys that came up before social media really kicked in that has really put in the time and put in the work. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass because now, and God bless, some of them, some of them have caught on. Mm-hmm. Take, I appreciate uh, it. Uh, Country Wayne, he, he done figured this shit out and uh, 
Desi, uh, who's that on that show? Desi Banks. Desi Banks, Desi I like Banks. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a lot of them have fallen by the wayside because they haven't put in the time, man. And when you get the opportunity, if your ass ain't ready, mm-hmm. it's, it can be tragic, man. Mm-hmm. And I, you in that last group that put in the time. And you can tell when you go to see them, man. Right. You can well, tell when Mama you go made to the it. show. And they can't do 50 takes <laughs> and pick the best one right. and put it on social right. media. Right. So it's uh, I appreciate it, man. I'm Thank you so much. You, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I will say on the flip side, if they ask you for a tape, especially if you've been on Comic View multiple times, do they say, we just want to make sure you're doing some new sets? So, I mean, it is reason to say, no, we just, just want to verify I mean, that you're going to say something. You, shit. But, but you, know, like, you know what I did. You got to understand this. You got to understand like something. DC. Not only was I on Comic View all those years, I was on the fucking credits. You know who I am. Right. Apparently, you ain't did your, your comedic history. Yeah. You got to do your homework. And it's, and so, so I know they had whoever the booking agent or the booking who was booking the talent, yeah. they didn't know who it was. You know, they didn't yeah. know the comics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I think, I think, I think, like they're doing where they're trying to do comic view again. I feel like the first thing they should do that's just my this is just my opinion is bring the vets, let them get the shit. Crank a crunk, get it started, and then start filtering in, filtering in the new guys. That's you know what I'm good. saying? Yeah, and show good. them love as well. Because the honestly, strategy. Comic View wouldn't be Comic View without the Don DC Curry's, the Gary Owens, the Ricky mm-hmm. Smilers, the Steve Brown. Right. It wouldn't be that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, bring those guys back. Speak. Get yeah, get that yeah. face rec- facial recognition and yeah. the funniness back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you got. I mean, and I know a lot of people gonna say you hating because that's the biggest thing young folks say now as a. a, a you right. a, um, As if you can't get constructive criticism right. or, or you, having you a good feedback. Have it. So, I'm yeah. glad you're experiencing that because exactly. you're a vet. Right. So, right. So now, if you give somebody constructive criticism in this day and time, you hating. I can be musty as hell. DC be like, hey, man, you must. The first thing I holler, why are you hating? But I smell like an ox. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I be, so, I be so, like, nigga, you need Lumi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so that's, that's the first thing the young comic come up with. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, you know, you want to you want to put some people in there that's tested and proven, mm-hmm. so the younger generation can see how it really is, mm-hmm. and they get their shit together. Because believe mm-hmm. it or not, a lot of the young comics now they're thriving off of social media mm-hmm. instead of putting in the mm-hmm. action. That's what they're getting. Instead of getting that Shark that's Tank, right. right? So now when they get in that Shark Tank, yeah. they fall apart, yeah. mm-hmm. and then they think it's everybody else's fault. Mm-hmm. But the first thing they holler is, "But I got money." Mm-hmm. But nigga, you just bomb. Yeah, you just mm-hmm. bomb. You just bomb your ass off. <laughs> exactly. mm-hmm. So that's what they're. They're not thinking about substance. They're just thinking about. You know, I got money. Then I think about mm-hmm. the content, the substance. So, you know that, what's gonna keep you. Working. Have you seen the, any of the new comic view? Has anybody watched any of it? About what? Because I actually watched. I binge watched it the other day. I watched ben all four episodes what? of the new comic view. No, it was I four episodes it. on. I don't know if it was Hulu or Prime what you think, or whatever. Yeah. What you think? Well, I ain't never gonna be no hater on. You know what I'm saying? And you're I, 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 you're I, 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 Number one, I'm a comic, and I feel like I'm a very funny comic, so I'm not the normal audience. Mm-hmm. For, you know, like the yeah. joke that they can tell, they're they not going to make me laugh because I can see the joke coming before the punchline as a comedian. You're a comic, so so when you're looking yeah, at it as a yeah. comic, you're looking at it as a critic because you're saying mm-hmm. like, hey, you know what, man, I could have did this way or you could have did that way. So it's not going to be as funny it's to you. Right, and I get right, it. Right. I get it. So, but I mean, I say, say I like that, Tony Rock. Tony Rock had a good one. All that. Tony Rock had me laughing. Like, I literally, like, if Tony I Rock really bust a, out laughing, Tony I like... Tony Rock is a vet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, uh... And other than Tony Rock, I, I can see. say see? almost T.I. was the next funniest person. Well, let me say this, and that, man. And that, that's, that's, that's crazy, but that's, that's literally when I looked at it and, and just the sets, the stories they was telling, the way they was connecting. I ain't saying nobody wasn't funny, but that's I was just like... No, no, no. I'm just saying Tony Rock is my favorite. Tony Rock is my favorite that I seen. I don't know what you're trying to be politically correct. You know what, though? I don't even look at I don't even look at shit. I ain't looked at nobody special. You know why? Because I'm too busy trying to create my own shit. You know what I'm saying? When 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 I put my shit out, you know, it's gonna be my shit. I ain't a big uh I ain't a big comedy go to. I went the other day because Chris called me, Chris Tucker. Mm-hmm. And he said, come on down. He was at the Fox the other day. Right. And I went down there. And I'm going to tell you, man, I enjoyed the show. Right, I right. really enjoyed the show. Chris right. Tucker mm-hmm. and Sherman Golden. Right. 
Bro, they put on a show. But you, you it just said that. Really people like that. Like that. You said that. Charmin you funny as shit. Yeah, they well, motherfuckers. With all the comedians in here, what's wrong with saying that some people aren't funny? Well, you don't want to hate. You don't want to hate. Well, it comes across as you being a hater. Now, now, among ourselves, among ourselves, we talk about it. And that's how it was. And that's the problem I had with Cap. Exactly. that bullshit. Okay. We've always had our differences, but we kept it amongst ourselves. Would you like to... You a minister? Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the preachers you think ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good observation, but I, you know, I wouldn't. Yeah. Exactly. Okay then. Tell yeah, me, yeah tell exactly. Me about okay. Yeah. Then. Um, that's what I, that's what I was saying before that it's so disheartening. Bishop Larry Soul Shoulder. It's so disheartening. Yeah, it's so disheartening from a viewer's perspective. Oh, oh, give me one at a time. Come on, Jason. It's so disheartening from a viewer's perspective to see the comedians going back and forth. Yeah, that's what rappers. Let yeah. us be the ones to say, "Oh, nah, you won't funny." I get yeah. it. You guys shouldn't be in gotcha. in the forefront. Say, oh man, he wasn't funny. I'm the last, I'm not a comedian. Last so, week, mm -hmm. and then I've always, you know, my month comments, you know, I mean, I cut yeah. your ass and go on my way. I mean, the Lord mm -hmm. has blessed me with enough physical prowess where anybody whipping my ass. Right. Exactly. So you can be mad at me, you can not like right. me, but you ain't fucking me. Exactly. Right. Right. So I've exactly. always had a run in over the years, man, with Teddy Carpenter. <laughs> People used to think we picking a fight. I mean, man, I bust your ass. <laughs> you reach over here, me if you. But he was here a little week, couple weeks ago. Last right? week, we, he and I, you know, well, we've been touring together on some more tour. Right. But last week, he and I, 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 my feature fell out. I called Teddy. I said, "What you doing?" He said, "I ain't doing shit." Cause the motherfucker funny. Right. Mm -hmm. I said, man, come on down here and be on the show. Right. And we had we had a good ass time. Said, right. you know, we had a good you, ass time. That's what you do amongst each other. Yeah. When I'm sitting, when I'm sitting either at TV or I'm going to a show, I don't want to hear Steve knock DC. I want to hear what you just said. I want to hear your material. I just want to hear you. You know, whatever that, beef you got, keep that behind closed you, doors. You know, Make me laugh. That goes to say, I'm gonna tell you some of the saddest shit I've seen. And it, 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 it has gotten really bad. The cat had opened that up. I understand what he was trying to do, but it, it, it went way left. Yeah. Uh, a, co a comic who I admire a whole lot, love her to death, funny as shit, but you can't tell me the last time she told a joke, and that's Monique. Monique, funny as shit, clever, yeah, beautiful yeah. woman, nice as hell in person, but it has gotten to a point to where now it's like, when you went yeah, to it, every it, clip I see, it's a bitching section. It's a bitching session, session. Right. and and, and right. she Even explaining her herself yeah. and all. And it's not. And, and the thing is, is making people, the viewers, uh, not remember her as being this funny, creative, yeah. jolly, beautiful woman that right. she is. Right. All you see now is bitching, and now for, for people that have never seen her before, when they see it again the first time, they gonna think. She ain't funny. All she do is bitch, but we yeah. all know it's comics. Moniz oh, is yeah. a she, Monique is a fucking beast. When she did that Queen of Comedy, now she was she's a beast. Yeah, she but the thing, and, and that's and so now it kind of hurts our game because, or our, excuse me, our profession. This ain't no game to me. So our profession because now when the new comics see that shit. They think like, okay, that's what it's about. That's what so I'm gonna go to beef do. with somebody. I'm gonna do to get to yeah. beef instead of putting it in the work. So in the work. that that kind of hurt me because I really like Monique. It's taking a different turn, man. Yeah, yeah. and I don't and like. I do not like listening to comedians say what you said. The beef part. Um, this is my depressed time, de decompressed time. I just want to relax mm -hmm. and I just want to laugh mm -hmm. and have a nice time. Forget about whatever else going on in the world. That's what comedians mm -hmm. is for me. Right, but when you're up there and you're, and I'm not speaking about anybody in specific because there's a lot of them doing it now. Yeah. I, I, if I'm at home, I turn. I say I don't even want to look at you. I, I just want to laugh. I, I go and look at the old, the old stuff. Now, if you got a beef and it's funny, mm. I can get with it. Yeah, because I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat cook a, cook a cookie whole ass after the podcast. <laughs> right. I'm gonna let you know right now. Right. Right. Cookies are bragging. Cookie, my girl, you know how to. <laughs> 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 
Cookie. Cookie knows she got some help in the room. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Cookie. That's my yeah. girl. No doubt. Yeah. What your uh, what, what about your social info, uh, Steve? Uh, yeah, you can follow me on uh, Instagram, Comic Steve Brown, Comic Steve Brown, and on my Facebook uh, fan page, Comedian Steve Brown fan page. So, and of course, man, I you know me and a, uh, a couple other comics, Lab Love, uh, who else? Uh, Marvin Hunter. And uh, Jack Thriller, we got our own podcast called the Yeah, We Talk Like This Podcast. Have you seen that yet, Don? When is it on? Uh, no, it's, I ain't it's, done it's, it. It's, it's on YouTube. That Check it out. It's, it's on YouTube. YouTube. It, it, huh? You like it, man? It's crazy, man. It, 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 and, uh, it, it, it's not class and respectful like this one now, but, it, but, <laughs> but we, we get well, if you call this, If you call this class and respect, I know it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah it's called, it's called uh, Yeah, We Talk Like This Podcast. And what about, don't you do it weekly in Stockbridge or something? I, I do it monthly. A monthly, Month. Yeah, monthly. So, yeah, it's called a, a Make You Laugh Monthly Comedy Show for the Grown and Sexy. So yeah, I'm so, 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 so I'm where is it at? It's at this club called Milan's. Milan's in Milan's Lounge in Stockbridge. Yeah, so I'm yeah, y'all check, check it out. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Pastor, you can't come. We be cussing too much. Not this <laughs> week. Oh, no, not this week. No, oh, you no, are here, Pastor, when we ain't on the air. Yeah, I, I'm sorry about that, members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let you joking. Nah, he just joking. He just joking. <laughs> well, we he just joking, y'all. He just joking. 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 He just in a Gucci suit. Gucci suit. Big ass red, green I'll have stripe. to go back and check him out, man. Right. Cross the chest, cross the arm, and he down the side of the leg. He got man, one. Man. He got one. He got one. You got one. You, you got, got one. No, red. I'm not Gucci, man. I'm not a materialistic no, guy. No, Red, but, you used to have a, you cut him he can miss he, he cut his mohawk off. Yeah, I had a mohawk. Yeah, mohawk. But I will say, if you go mm-hmm. in the church for somebody to pray for you, you at least want to see somebody who already been blessed. You be like, how he gonna pray for me and he ain't got oh, no blessings he, of his he, own? He, he dre- still waiting on his blessings. He, dre- he, he dressing much better since he opened that weed farm for the church. <laughs> <laughs> you said weed? That's what's up. <laughs> no, oh, Jamal. No, 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 Jamal Brown, no. man. Oh, he does? I, yeah. I'm a square man. I don't drink us smoke. Man, do it was nothing, a big no. thing, man. For real, Jamal Brown said weed? He said we need to be in the Is weed it, business. Oh, yeah, I heard. So they got a dispensary for the church. I think they did. I Damn. Hope not. I hope not, but hey, it is what it is. The huh? New birth is wow. flourishing. Everything is uh, doing well out there. They got a gymnasium yeah. and everything. They got the Samson. Center. Oh, it's new. Is that New Birth? Yeah, new Birth. New Birth. Well, he replaced that? Eddie Long. Yeah, he replaced oh, Eddie Long. he did. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Long's up. Eddie Long's up in heaven with some little angel boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 man. <laughs> So technically, it ain't new birth no more. It's more like after birth. <laughs> you listen. You been listening to this race. I'm DC Curry. <laughs> Oh, Brian Harper, please forgive them, Lord. <laughs> we have a great time. I'm Sister JJ. It's Wait Bar. It's been a pleasure. Man, wait, uh, bullhead back. He's a your man. That motherfucker is bull dagger. We don't even know who the fuck he is. Hey, your man, bull dagger. And tonight we had special guest Cookie Hull and my main man, Steve Brown. Thank you for having me on, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. We're all tired.